Hi everyone, I'm Manu Dasari, Senior Project Manager and Agile Consultant with ThoughtWorks. I'm here to talk about hyper-agility being a smart enterprise. Now, let me ask you, how many of you actually use Agile practices today, along with artificial intelligence and automation? A show of hands. Uh, for those interested, you could also scan in the QR code on the screen um, for putting in your inputs in a short survey as well. Now, based on what I have seen in the past, I would say not many. Now, this is sad given that hyper automation is one of the latest trends from Gartner, which combines automation and intelligence. And I would define hyper agility as augmenting automation with artificial intelligence to the agile practices. How does this all work? Let us take a scenario. For example, meet Pete. He's a product owner for a financial services business, and he would like to create a web platform solution for his customers. Now, he's never done user stories before, and he's new to the agile ways of working. You know, Pete takes a long time to brainstorm his user stories and to come up with the priorities for his backlog as he doesn't have the right data insights to make the right decisions. So how can we help Pete? Pete can use hyper agility in various examples. For example, in the first one, there can be intelligent user storyboards that help Pete to augment his everyday activities during the discovery and inception phases of the Agile project life cycle by giving helpful hints for the user stories, something like Google. Uh, secondly, he could also have machine bots that help with the auto grooming of the product backlog with priority suggestions based on the data analytics that is integrated and delivered to the product backlog. Thirdly, he could also integrate his DevOps dashboards with the real-time mining of the customer data insights to identify the value delivered. Now, Pete benefits with hyper agility because he has improved productivity as is able to come up with a breadth of user stories prompted by the intelligent bots. He has better access to data and is able to prioritize the stories in his backlog based on the customer insight suggestions by the intelligent bots. And more importantly, his company has improved ROI with the optimized deployment of resources. It's no surprise that Pete benefits from hyper agility. In fact, nine out of the 10 AI leaders are advanced in data management and 74% of them who are planning to implement these are having sophisticated data management systems plan in place to be done by 2023, according to a benchmarking study of over 1200 companies. Now what's next? Does it mean humans will be replaced by robots? Not really. They will be augmented uh, by robots for better productivity. So what tools can be tapped? Um, you can refer to the ThoughtWorks Looking Glass, which provides a list of trends that you can watch out for and best practices to adopt. And what does it mean for my business? You can explore how artificial intelligence and automation may join your mainstream agile practices in the next five years. Now, this is a snippet of the ThoughtWorks looking glass that you can have a reference to. That's all for my talk today. If you have any inputs, please scan the QR code here and give your thoughts on hyper agility. Thank you.